matchup in the NFC between the Arizona Cardinals and the Washington football team. One of two spots in the NFC title game awaits the winner here as we're underway in the divisional round of the NFL playoffs. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Cardinals take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. Washington pressure gets to him. He will go down. That's called setting the tone right away. It certainly is, and it lets you know just how important communication is amongst the offensive line. They talk about it all the time, knowing each other's moves. You've got to be coordinated and in sync. Otherwise, your quarterback gets hit. Well, they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. Another try after the first down sack. Murray, he's going to launch this thing way downfield. Room here to run. And a terrific return as he brings this one all the way back to the 30. And certainly, look, you're on the road in the playoffs. That is a suboptimal start opening drive INT. And partner, sometimes I wonder, do these teams talk about it to such an extent that maybe you almost talk yourself into the turnover when you're trying to avoid it. Yeah, maybe they get a little too worried about keeping the football, and then you give it to the other team right off the bat. And look, we said it on the road. This is just a terrible, terrible start for them. It is, and now they've got to rely on their defense. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Second and nine, Taylor. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Ran a perfect defense in this situation. Would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice... And that is caught. Touchdown, Washington. And Washington has taken a first quarter lead. Things could just not have started any better for them. They get the turnover, the football right away, able to capitalize on offense for six. And we're talking about setting a tone in any game, right? The first points of a ball game. How about during the playoffs? Vitally important, and they've done that in this one. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away from the six and he's up across the 25 and down at the 28 the Cardinals take over first and 10 at their own 28 yard line Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. Flush to his right, and that'll be incomplete. So much for the best laid plans and best designed plays. That was good coverage along the sidelines. No place for that one to get in there. It sails incomplete. Second and 10, a very chilly day here, but no snow. And you know, I got to say, if it's going to be this cold, I want snow. 
<laughs> you should see Charles' face. He's looking at me like I'm crazy. And a throw right sideline here is complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. His first catch of the divisional round goes for a first down. He had five catches last week in their wild card win. From the gun, Murray. That ball complete to Isabella. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. Back to back receptions for him, and it's another first down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. A first carry for Kenyon Drake. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your old line to set the tone of dominance and physicality and pound the rock. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Naeem Hines, his first carry. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. It'll be a two-yard gain, and that'll bring up a third and one. And it's third down. They're going to go with a tight end here on the running play. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. He was brought down at the 13-yard line. A gain of four yards. First down, Arizona. This is Hines. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. Throwing on second and eight. Murray, he'll set up the screen to Gray. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Complete to Give him six on the screen, but now it's third down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Try to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Murray again. This is Drake. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. They give him two yards there as they're set up now with a first and goal. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. They'll try and pound it in for Blake. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. Good first step there defensively, but they're still knocking on the doorstep, so maybe another run here? I think so. One of my favorite coaches used to say, son, if you could darn near lay down near the end zone and get in, give me my best power running play with my best back right now. And he'll get in. He's over for the touchdown. Kyler Murray taking it in. And the Cardinals are just an extra point away from tying this game. So with second and goal, still had a couple of downs to work with. They tried to sneak, and they got in. 
I like the idea that they did it early in the down and distance count. Second down as opposed to waiting later on. I think it fooled them a little bit, but how about the push they got up front to get the quarterback through? Big push and a touchdown to boot. Washington takes over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. After one, a one-point game, seven to six. Seven, Cardinals six. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Here's Taylor. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. Play action, now Taylor, and going deep for Hill. And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, Washington, yards. And Washington able to stretch that lead out even further. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat, and I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine for the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. That was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Kirk on the return. The Cardinals take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. Throwing on first down is Murray. He's going to air one out. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far. But on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Throwing again, Murray. He's going to take another shot here. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Andy Isabella was the intended target. And now it's third down. Absolutely no disguise on that one. They just went for it. Put him out there and said, go deep. Let's try and hit him. Unfortunately, to no avail. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. gun here's Murray now he lets it go deep for Kirk and that will be incomplete well they weren't scared to let it fly but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down that's an excellent job right there on third down like any defense you never want to let them get anything started and that would have been a first down instead you saw the contact on time no penalty and before this drive could get wings it's fourth down 
A nice job getting free on the return for 13 yards. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. 32-yard line. Out there set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a nice job there forcing a loss on that play. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. To throw is Taylor. Now they go screen, it's complete. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. They get seven there on the screen, it'll set up a third down. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big, but in the end, give some credit to the defense, finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. Taylor. And that is incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. Oh, the return is Kirk. It's a 41-yard punt, but just a net of 31 following the run back. And the Cards will take over first and 10. 30-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to pump from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. They'll run on first down. Hines. And he's got it across the midfield stripe and into Washington territory. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. Brings up second and three. Shotgun now for Murray. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. The Cardinals on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. Here it's third and three. Operating from the gun, Murray. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. And normally we would talk about this more with basketball players and football players, but that's adopted in this case. He's a stat sheet stumper. And the interception earlier now is sack. What, he just needs a touchdown for the trifecta. That's about all he needs, and he's going to go for it. And returning it, here's Hamler. A uh, very good return that time. 18 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. At their own 21-yard line. Here we go. 
The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and give these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. So from the 36 now, first and 10. A first carry now for Kofrani Muhammad. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. Two yards the loss, second and 12. The defense was ready for the run pass option, diagnosed it perfectly. Not only did they stack him up at the point of attack, but he was met by a host of light-colored jerseys. Second quarter action, two minutes to go on Divisional Round Weekend. We remind you, as we've done all year, that coming up at halftime, we will visit with Jonathan Coachman standing by in Orlando. He'll let you know what's going on here on a very eventful Divisional Round Weekend. Now they'll throw with Taylor. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. Taylor's it'll be a pickup of just two, and it'll be third and ten now. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back, and it could turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. On third down, Taylor. And he fires one that's intercepted. Buda Baker with a pick. And they will score. It's a pick six for the Cardinals touchdown. And we'll see if that pick six looms large as this game continues, because we've seen plays like that alter a lot of playoff contests over the years. I would agree with that totally. And you often think to yourself, why do they alter it so much? Because after games, don't we hear coaches and players say, well, one play doesn't usually determine the outcome. But I don't think that's really true, do you? Because there's times when we see plays like that, and all of a sudden the momentum jumps to that team side. It deflates the other side, and they never pick it back up. And then things really go from there, don't they? That's the thing for me. We talk about momentum changes. A play like that is the ultimate momentum change. Eluding the pressure right. Throws right side. And he's got it. So they went ahead and went for two to tie the game, and it works out. Michael Badgley set to kick off. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And this carries into the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. Tie ball game, still a little more than a minute to go in the half. The question, can they put something together here, try to take that lead into intermission? I would have to think that would be the goal for sure. I don't think you sit on anything here. Here's your opportunity. Push it downfield. As you mentioned, it's a tie game. So minus a disaster on your part, you've got that in your back pocket. Go ahead and try and get some points and feel great going into the half. Throwing on second and eight, Taylor. The cards get to him here. He's brought down for a sack. Richard Lawrence. Credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. It's now third down. Let's 
Third and long, Taylor and company hoping to regroup after the sack. They go play action now, Taylor. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Here's Tressway now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. That'll wind up being a 50-yard punt, though they do get 10 back on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Second and ten. To throw again, Murray. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. Andy Isabella was the intended target. And that takes us from second to third down. And ten yards to go. From the gun, Murray. And able to find Kirk complete. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Again. This one caught by Isabella. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. So we've come upon halftime here in this NFC Divisional Round matchup as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, a trip to the NFC title game hanging in the ballot. Second half action back underway. Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that'll give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. They'll come up now, second and four from the 31. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football. In that situation, it's almost a tendency breaker. On 
first down. Here's Breida. And not much room to operate as he'll get this up only to about the 41. Taken down. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Definitely too early to panic, but that is his fourth carry of the game, and collectively has a total 10 yards. So maybe there's no panic, but maybe some concern. Yeah, and maybe a little concern up front because they're not giving him any space right now. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. From the shotgun, it's Taylor. Complete to the running back, Matt Breda. A gain of four on the play. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. A gain of four. Brings up third and five. Man, that's Hardman. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 43. Now they try the right side here. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 here as we sit in the third quarter of this divisional round matchup. Here's Taylor to throw. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Five yards. Now it's third and five. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why, what we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play, one-on-one -on -one matchup of someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. Completes it to Hardman, and he takes it in. Touchdown! His second touchdown of the night. And Washington has taken the lead. I know we often laugh and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. His second touchdown of the game and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead. This one taken just inside the 10. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Cardinals take over first and 10 at their own 31-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point. But it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense. Plenty of time to get back in this game. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. Running for the shotgun with Dre. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Seven yards there and a first down. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. First down. Open man is Kirk complete. 
And he'll get this one down near the 20 yard line, just shy of the 20. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. First down, Cardinals. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Operating from the gun, Murray. Now he's got it. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Arizona. From 21 yards away. And the Cardinals are just an extra point away from tying this game. He's got it, and we're all tied at 21. That ties the game at 21 apiece. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. Washington takes over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and 10. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. Five at the 30-yard line. They'll run with Muhammad. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Muscle damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've run the belt three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. Now Brita on a toss left, and it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. the 35. Third down, now even tougher. Third and 13 up to the NFC title game. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Washington on third down. They've hit four of seven. This is going to be third and 13. From the gun, it's Taylor. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. They do get 12, but they'll be marked short. And that leads to a fourth down. game fourth quarter and they're going for this thing on fourth down a shotgun handoff to Patterson and he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield they only got a couple but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth and ten at the 49 yard line The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Here's a toss right side for Brita. And he stopped immediately there. Matt Brita. 
They call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Right we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 12 yards there and a first down. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. So in the Cardinal territory now, it's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Now it's Breda. And he's going to get this inside the 30. That's a 12-yard gain now on back-to-back -back plays. Seemed like a couple sets of eyes were on the quarterback, so he decided, hey, I'm going to hand this off. Got a good gain out of it. And you know you need good blocking up front in order to gain yardage, but every one of these RPOs, if you do it right and they look the same, whether it's handed off inside or the quarterback keeps it, that allows you to fool the defense so often. And in this case, fool them with the inside run. Going to give this time to the tailback. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. 12 yards on back-to-back -back plays there, and that's another first down. That's pretty much mean potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all, challenging that defense. And on that go-around, the offense won the challenge. This is Breda. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. A 15. Taking the lead. People always talk about one of his biggest strengths, running the football vision, and he found the spot there, went into the end zone. You're exactly right about that. It wasn't just the vision, right? Once he saw the gap, decisiveness, made up his mind and about the power to finish the play. Not only did he get good blocking, he created his own space as well. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Taken in at the three. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. On the return, the Cardinals take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And this could be the defining moment of their season, all hyperbole aside. You're trailing here in the fourth quarter, the divisional round, and they need to come up with something as they get this drive started. The throw right side is complete here on the first play of the drive. And he's got some space here. Touchdown, Cardinals! Andy Isabella. 76 yards, and the Cardinals are just an extra point away from tying this game. And nothing too crazy there. A quick slant, and then he just had a seam. He found a seam. And when you hit it on the run like that, and I mean the pass right to the receiver who's already in motion and moving, sometimes he just takes it and runs away from everyone else. And he ran it into the end zone. And the defense, they've got to adjust there quickly. That's tough on them. That's really tough because everything was executed well. The ball was out of his hands quickly, into the hands of the receiver, and then he was gone. Takeover first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. And as a fan of the NFL, not much more you could hope for in this divisional round matchup. Tie game, fourth quarter. A lot of these fans with their hearts in their throats waiting to see what happens here. Give them a couple on the carry there, second and eight. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground honed in on it, and stopped him. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. From the 22, here's second and eight. Check 26, check 26. 
They'll swing this complete out to Hill. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. His second catch, and this one not nearly as electrifying as his first. And it'll bring up third down now. They go play action with Taylor. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Two catches now in this divisional round matchup. That one, a first down. Take this one for about four up to the 40. Well, at the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. On second down, a run with Breida, and he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. All tied up, less than two minutes to go. So it's Washington with the football here as we welcome you back. And they're facing a big third down now in this tie ball game. He'll get this into the hands of Burita. He'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. It's a first down for Washington on a pickup of 11. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars. And he came through with a nice catch right there. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's going to be met at about the 43. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Running out of the gun here, Brita. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. 12 yards there and a first down. But he picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he'll get this down to about the 30, 31 yard line. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. At the 31 yard line. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. They run with Breda, and he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. They got to get it to the 21 here on third down. Off the play fake, here's Taylor. Forced out to his left. Taylor able to use those legs of his to pick up a first. All right, partner, I'm a defender, but I've got to express my admiration there. 
move it around, making it happen. And instead of worrying about protecting himself, he goes and gets the first down. I've got to give it to him on that one. Normally, you don't want your guy taking shots, your quarterback, but it's winning time here in the fourth quarter. If he needs to make those plays with the legs, go ahead, right? Yeah, no doubt about it. It's, at this stage of the game, all protections, they're off. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. A game-winning field goal would be a chip shot from here. Let's see how they play it on first and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now they get the timeout. It leads you to wonder, will they kick it here or risk running another play and possibly not getting down in time? We'll see. Back at the two now. Here's second and goal. They'll try to run with Breda. And he's in for the touchdown. And in the final circulation. Proud the week off hasn't hurt him one bit. Thousand yard rush in the regular season. Got his first touchdown here in the playoffs. Perhaps the week off energized him. A great article in the paper this morning, basically saying that they would not have won the division without him. And he's not their only piece, but I think that's a fair statement. It's easy to say it this way. He's their main cop. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. By rule, that comes out to the 40-yard line. So a good opportunity for this offense with solid field position. starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at the 40. Second down. Brings up second and 10 at the 40 yard line. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Murray, one final try. He's going to let it fly. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. Washington.